Next in our series on amazing portraiture at the Affordable Art Fair, I wanted to stop at the Rada Maker Gallery. It's one of my favorites. I've bought from this gallery. It comes from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and I actually want to highlight a couple of different portrait artists here. But before we get to that, I just have to go off the beaten track for a minute with our theme and show you these incredible sculptures, movable. This one is my favorite. This one is called Not So Sweet, and it's a take on those little sweetie candies that we all give out and get for Valentine's Day. But if we look closely on what they say, they're certainly not so sweet. They're all swear words, like serious swear words. And if you dig into the middle and the back, you know, you find some that can be kind of shocking. But I just think it's totally fun and interactional and also beautiful to look at, which is what we're looking for in our art collections. I also am totally drawn to, on the opposite side of the spectrum, these photographic portraits. There's just something about them. I don't know. I need to find the gallerist. I need to chat with her about them. Maybe she can help explain just why I, I love these. I love them. They're so, they're, they've got such depth and there's such reality to them and emotion. It's a, a young artist who traveled to African country. The story behind the African countries is that the gay people cannot be open, open about it. So it's a big, huge problem. We have a free country in the Netherlands. It's normal. Everyone is open into that. But he traveled to African countries and he explained his uh, idea of making a series for the gay people to dare to be themselves. Oh, wow. So it's more touching if you be aware about if he's standing for the artist, he's afraid. He's afraid that he gets punished or he's afraid that he gets, gets in jail or he's afraid that he loses his job. This one is more outgoing. So he has the blue candy shop and he said, I don't care, I want to show you who I am. But if you see his eyes, there's it's, pain. It's pain. I'm crazy about this artist, Preta Walzak. I own one. These are her pieces. She takes baby dolls and kind of goes commando on them. Yes. I wanted to just ask you from the mouth of the artist herself, when did this, did this start at a young age, your fascination? Yes. For, when I was four, it started. And um, because I didn't see why somebody has to give a doll to a girl and what not a boy. I, I don't get a doll. So I put wheels in the belly that I can ride with them. Ah. Put them in the paint that is my hair were really hard. Oh my gosh. And then it was something. And nowadays still the girls cut dolls and the boys cut or soldiers of, yeah, yeah, yeah they go to play with and I think that's not good you have to be look at the child where is the child into so this is all about the start in our life she, she works with the dolls she was playing with the dolls as a child and she now finds them on eBay or market whatever and she wants to bring an own character alive so she started them just like a designer. She makes the clothes, she does the makeup, she does the hairdresser. <laughs> she wants to be in control of everything. So she's creating with each doll a new life. I love them. And that's why the people love the work because you see a lot of red dots. Yes. It gives you energy and it's so nice in detail and so bright in colors. It's totally different. It's totally new. We're trying to give our viewers a little bit of advice. Young, new collectors. Art has just saturated itself into every aspect. People are so much more into home decor and making their homes unique and beautiful. Yes. What would be your top pieces of advice to a young collector? What should they look for? What should they avoid? I think young collectors should start with photography okay. because it's a limited edition and most of the time the price range is a little bit lower because of the edition. Right. And that's a I good point. Yeah, that's, a, that's the most important point. It's uh, the technique of now because it's digital, so they are more uh, familiar with that. Exactly. So it's one thing. It's the money thing with editions, 
and it's they are used to make with the iPhone all the photos. So, so stay, true. Stay close to your own comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. So that was my number one for a young collector. This is Cricket Burns of Cricket's Crush, thanking you for watching this series on the trend of portraiture in contemporary art. And please be sure to check out our website, cricketscrush.com, where you can learn more about my services, zhuzhing, staging, and selling beautiful home consignments and art 